My first uh, memory of Johan is uh, probably around 1997, and he invited me to his studio at the time, Niesta Techno Vicente, in Reykjavik, um, to come say hi and hang out. And uh, I, I came there and gave him my my first uh, record with the band I was playing with at the time. And uh, we had a really uh, good talk about music. Um, and I can, I can recall his smile. Like, I'm looking at you and I can recall his smile. He had a really good smile. And then we went out and had ice cream. I think what resonates with people in Johan's music is that um, most people don't allow themselves to uh, feel all their feels and he made music that made it possible for people to have emotional experiences that they either don't have the capacity to have uh, without the music or don't allow themselves to go there. Um, and in that way, his music is medicine. That's the medicine in Johan's music is that it's incredibly visceral and it cracks hearts open to let the light in. Uh, in a very uh, deep, deep way. When Johan was creating Virðulir Forsetar, uh, he had this idea of putting a camera up in Hallgrimskirkja church uh, to uh, photograph the Asia mountain every day for an entire year. Um, and just sort of create a slow stop motion of the, of the mountain. And, uh, if you listen to Virdele Forsetar, it's a very slow and graceful mountain of music. Um, so, in that particular instance, I, I know for a fact that the, he was he had some kind of connection between this mountain and this piece of music, this ar uh, this arc of music, this record. Um, so I suppose sometimes it was subconscious and sometimes it was very uh, calculated. And he, he would actually think things through uh, in a very thorough way, uh, which was a pretty amazing quality. I think this project was definitely one of those.